I have took uh, some coaching before as well, and then and they told me that oh, you just have to focus on fancy words and you know uh, some different kind of uh, structures. Um, but here I learned that um, the task response was something which is the most important thing. So if your task response is like just a bit of here and there, then the whole essay will be like six or six point five thing. They were quite helpful as you guys told me that where I was lacking was my exact structure, like how to make the structure because my words and my pronunciation and fluency was uh, perfect. I believe like at that time it was not Correct. now. It is. Correct. So yeah, where I was lacking was in the structure and Lawrence Coation, you mean? Oh so, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you told me that if I'm uh, speaking first line like this, the second should be like that. You know, the whole structure, structure, sentence formation. Correct. That's what I learned from that. So it quite helped me a lot. On top of that, I would say that I was just speaking just a regular English. You told me how to use, you know, how to induce even though all, the, all those Correct. kind of words. Complex yeah. sentences. So, complex sentences. Compounds. Uh, hey, everybody. Nakul from Skills Styles. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Well, we have... Uh, Anisha today. Hi, Anisha. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you, Nakul? I'm good. Thank you too, Anisha. So Anisha has um, produced this beautiful result, awesome accomplishment, listening nine, can you beat that? Reading seven, speaking eight and writing seven. And she wanted overall eight. Congratulations. Yes, you did it. I, Thank you. <laughs> I can sense the, you know, the the grit in it, you did it, you should have been really, really happy. So I've got a couple of questions so that, you know, viewers would understand the reality uh, towards accomplishment of this goal. So this is your score on the 6th of March was the test date. I think after a week or so, you got the result, right? If I'm not wrong. I think three, four days, 9th of March. Great. And you gave this in India or in Australia? I gave it in India. Got it. Great. So I've got a couple of questions. Okay, before that, we have a WhatsApp group where we share the results so this is people congratulating her and that was her write-up about um, her experience with us this was the moment that i shared the score report ielts score report overall eight in the whatsapp group so these are the questions did i ever force you to use good vocab high five vocab ever force you did i ever force you no you didn't in fact i was asking you like i have asked you a lot of time that should i use some fancy words and stuff like that but i think you have always uh, um told me to go with the flow and just use the correct grammar and the correct sentence structure so yeah correct. that's what so we so like i mean i mean like this thing actually helped you right isn't it yeah definitely correct i mean like instead of focusing more on the vocab and wasting your time on your preparation you focused on what is required yeah Right, let's take up the second question. So what are those things which we always asked you to stress on for good scores in writing? I think uh, in writing. That's correct. For the essay writing or the task one, what are those things which we always tell you to do? Mm. The important stuff. Is it the grammar? I, I Is it the no. vocabulary? Is it the coherence, cohesion or the task response? I, task response. That task was response. the first thing which I've learned in fact from skill, uh, skill IELTS. Because I have took uh, some coaching before as well. And then, and they told me that, oh, you just have to focus on fancy words and, you know, uh, some different kind of uh, structures. Um, but here I learned that um, the task response was something which is the most important thing. So if your task response is like just a bit of here and there, then the whole essay will be like six or 6.5 thing. Correct. And that's why I was able to, you know, uh, score seven just because of your, this task response thing. So, yeah. Great. So, um, um, I mean, like before joining us, what was your score stuck at? Was it stuck at 6.5 or 6? What was your score always stuck at? I think you had given a couple of times before as well. Right? Yeah, I've Sorry. given it like when I came um, at Skills Isles, um, I think I have given it three times and okay. all the three times it was 6.5 in my writing. I was stuck at 3. Point, oh, sorry, 6.5. <laughs> so, yeah. Even Got my it. grammar and everything was right, as you Correct. said, but the thing Correct. was my uh, task response. So. Task response. All right. So how many essays do you remember? Approximately, you would have sent for feedback. This answer oh will God. scare you guys. Yeah. I have sent you a lot of essays. Approximately. Let me just show you um, how many essays Anisha has sent. I think, I don't know, a lot of essays. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like daily, I used to send one. And even at that time, you were like, okay, 6.5, still 6.5. So yeah, I have to struggle a lot. <laughs> so Anisha has sent 44, I think they're more than that. Inside one mail, they have two, probably really, 88 yeah. to 90 essays she has sent. And the last essay, Meenakshi ma'am has reviewed. 
and and has given 7.5 so let me just show the user her essay which scores 7.5 so this is the way she used to you know go with the coherence coefficient to begin with in other words for instance this is because therefore hence and the entire narration was perfect there was not a single flaw in the narration in in addition i mean i mean i'm just showing the structure of it in addition the transfer of suburban population may create again model verbs as this can lead thus such a therefore so she was pretty good you know after joining us she understood you know the art of articulation the art of essay writing the narration the coherence coefficient and and she was a sharp one so when when she understood what was required she was quick enough you know to to get a gist of you know what what is required for a 7 or 7.5 in writing great so before joining skills ielts you stuck at 6.5 um what is that secret tip for writing to score 7 you already told that do you mind telling it again task response and practice response. again and again like daily practice will lead you to a perfect task response otherwise you will be going like you know here and there after first line second line third line will be just going in case something like that so you have to write like practice regularly and give you guys for feedback for sure yes correct so do you think just sending one essay for the feedback will help you rectify the mistakes no definitely no. not you have to write like daily on the regular basis that's correct and then only you will be like you know on the right track so yeah because i remember even for you i gave many essays seven even after getting seven some of the essays you were again you know back to 6.5 because yeah. you know i mean i mean the questions will differ according to your ideas will differ Yeah. So yes, as Anisha says, daily practice and getting a feedback will actually help you nail this exam with seven easily. Let's let's move to reading and speaking because you've got listening nine. Uh, there's no question about it because I got eight point five. I should not ask you questions about listening, but yes, um, how instrumental reading marks because here it was not just the practice, just you know, I mean, not just the questions. You here you had the approach as well. So how instrumental reading marks were in securing good bands for reading. i think in reading mocks whenever uh, we are done with the mock then you gave a feedback like you know you tell how this answer was like this what was the grammar you have to be very focused about this all the techniques and tips so that was quite helpful it's yeah exactly as you said it was just not you know practicing the mock again and again but mm -hmm. listening with the feedback listening about the feedback as well what was it like where i went wrong so which that was quite to be used to yeah which approach to be used and you have always uh, you know shared the approach whenever you telling the answers so yeah that really helped and i also remember fact, you know like every day, so many mocks you had done i remember yeah yeah and i would used to send you know oh how come you did this false and this is true and all that stuff yes. and you answer me yeah correct. straight away correct. that's correct correct so let's get back to speaking how helpful our speaking templates were because you got eight in the end that's a sigh of relief how helpful were speaking templates we had some templates which we had shared you and you know you were practicing based on that so how instrumental were they how helpful were they i think they were quite helpful as you guys told me that where i was lacking was my exact structure like how to make the structure because my words and my pronunciation and fluency was uh, perfect i believe like at that time it was not Correct. now it is Correct. so yeah where i was lacking was in the structure and coherence coefficient you mean so yeah exactly yeah and then you told me that if i'm uh, speaking first line like this the second should be like that you know the whole structure structure sentence formation Correct. that's what i learned from that so it quite helped me a lot on top of that i would say that i was just speaking just a regular english you told me how to use you know how to induce even though all the all those Correct. kind of words complex yeah. sentences so, complex sentences compound sentences great so how helpful was skills ielts team because it's not just me we are a team but you know yeah, I mean, there are a lot of ladies there so how how helpful were they also in getting your scores asha ma'am <laughs> baldeep ma'am meenakshi ma'am yeah i was just about to take their names so asha ma'am and baldeep ma'am were the two who used to take like who took um few of my mocks uh, you know speaking and they mocks. gave me yes yeah, speaking mocks and they gave me a lot of like incredible feedback i would say Great. no matter how good i was they always give used to give me 7 or 7.5 because they were like ah, we need more from you you still have these mistakes and that mistake and just in that urge of you know gaining eight bands from them i used to work a lot so you got know it. it was quite helpful got it and like how about meenakshi ma'am in you know towards essay writing ah uh, meenakshi ma'am was 
Oh, she was a tough one, right? She, she was, was a, a tough one, na? <laughs> she's a tough one, yeah. Even if you give me like sometimes seven, she was like, no, that's six point five because you need to improve over there and over there. You know, there were a lot of things, and in order to get seven from her, I have worked a lot. So I understand. Yeah. I totally know and at the end your hard work has really paid off so that's anisha mahal guys for you nine listening reading seven speaking eight and writing seven and she wanted overall band eight for our um, i think admission in australia no so it's for my degree assessment degree assessment and i hope everything will get through all the very best thanks much thank anisha you. thanks everybody thank you